Hey guys, I'm Cody, and you're buying Past Life Pro. And for this tutorial, thanks to the amazing Virtual Conquer 85, I'm going to teach you how to seriously improve the look of volumetric light in the SUS V11. My tutorial will be pretty much the same as his own, so I thought it was best to leave a link to his version of this tutorial in the description below this video. You will be going there anyway to retrieve a file, so I thought it was best. Alrighty, there is a heck of a lot of code to implement and adjust. Let's get started. First, have the SUSV11 unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Second, make sure you have Virtual Conquer's volumetric light code ready to go as well. Go to that same link I referenced before, which will take you to Virtual Conquer's version of this tutorial. From there, in his video's description, you will find the link to downloading the code file. I've already got it, so we'll begin now. Access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate composite1.fsh. Use a notepad plus plus, open it up. From here, what I want you to do is minimize the text file and drag the tab we're working on to an unused side of your desktop. This alteration will make the composite one that FSH its own separate workspace, which will in turn better allow us to organize things. Open up composite2.fsh as well as the volumetric light code file, both in Notepad. See, now we have all the files in one place. If you ask me, it's pretty convenient. Alright, let's make those code changes. Access the composite1.fsh tab. Scroll down to line 70 to 77. For each of these that I have outlined, we'll be adding an alpha channel. As for exactly why we're doing this, not a clue, but I trust Virtual Conqueror, so we're doing the same. Just follow my lead. Line 2585. And before you go there, hold down Control and then G. Just as I do, add in the number of the line you want to jump to, and click Go. I found this out not too long ago, so yeah, enjoy this advice. Change this here void to float. And also, remove in out float color, comma space. Lines 2587 to 2588. Highlight and delete all the code on those lines. Line 2591. Change 5.0F to instead 4.0F. Line 2593. Change 280.0F to 30.0F. Line 2595. By default, we have Calculate Dither Pattern 1. Change it to 2. Line 2627. Remove the space plus 0.0018F. Same line, replace the ending 4 with a 2. Lines 2654 to 2686. Here's where we begin adding the code from the volumetric light text file. Highlight all the code within those lines and press delete. Now switch tabs to the volumetric light file, copy lines 7 to 9, switch back to composite 1 at FSH, and paste the code on what is now 2654. Line 2979 to 2982. Highlight all the code within those lines and press delete. Lines 3005 to 3006. Highlight all the code within those lines and press delete. Switch tabs to the volumetric light file. Copy lines 16 to 23. Switch back to composite1.fsh and paste the code under what is now 3005. That's all for this tab. Save and close down the composite1.fsh. Composite2.fsh, line 25. For this composite mipmap enabled setting, default is false. Change this to true. Line 1628. Change void to instead vec3. Same line, remove vec2 chord, comma space. Lines 1630 to 1640. Highlight all the code within those lines and press delete. Switch tabs. Copy line 30. 
switch back to composite 2 that FSH, and paste the code under what is now 1630. Line 1636. Replace raise with VL sample. It can't be any different than how I typed it. Capital letters and lowercase letters must remain the same. Line 1651. Change surface.color plus equals to instead return. Line 1729. Highlight all the code on that line. Impress delete. Switch tabs. Copy line 34. Switch back to composite2.fsh and paste the code onto what is that same line, 1729. My friends, those were all the mandatory adjustments. Save, and let's go check these improved volumetric light rays out in Minecraft. As you can see, compared to how the rays were before, there have definitely been quite a few improvements made. But before I leave you to them, how would you like the option to make these rays more noticeable? Well if you'll allow me, there's one more thing I'd like to show you. Line 1651 in composite2.fsh. Default is currently this decimal number with loads of zeros, 1. To increase the visibility of the rays, simply increase the number and vice versa for smaller numbers. For myself, I'll be changing the 1 to a 5. Save and let's return to Minecraft. If this SUSFI 11 volumetric light improvement tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!